going on everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We're back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here with our Mohawked Quetzal. Check him out. <laughs> um, we're here in front of the skull. We painted it last episode. I hope you guys all saw it. It was pretty fun, pretty crazy. We changed the color a few times actually. Um, and this is what we settled down with. It's kind of a, uh, a tan color, a bone color for the skeleton part, and then the other stuff has a slate or blackish kind of uh, color paint to it. And uh, with this particular time of day, you can actually see the difference between the tan and the generic non-painted uh, stone walls. As you can see right there, all this stuff is unpainted except for that one block I accidentally painted both sides. Uh, this side I messed up quite a bit. I was painting uh, both both sides of the panel unintentionally. Yeah, so things are coming along. I just wanted to uh, check it out at the perfect daylight. It's, uh, let's see, it's, uh, what time is it? It's 20, it's 8 o'clock at night. I guess the sun is just probably getting ready to go down. And uh, just wanted to take a look and see how it see how it turned out. Um, it's going to be getting dark here, and I have an idea of what we might be able to do to kind of um, light it up and give it give it a cool vibe. So I'm waiting for the sun to go down a little bit, and um, we'll be back. And I think. I think I have an idea. And uh, the other thing we're going to do today is uh, we're going to head out to the winter biome and check out the new penguins. As I mentioned, uh, when we made the fabricator and the grill or the paint sprayer and all that stuff last episode. Oh, whoops, sun is <laughs> sun just got darker. Um, uh, we have a new polymer. It's organic polymer that the penguins drop. And uh, they've made some changes to it already in the in the next update, where it actually expires, kind of like uh, berries. You know, like if you hold berries, they'll they'll just you know decompose after a certain amount of time, and you'll lose them. Um, so the polymer does that too. But I think we can probably put it in a refrigerator to to make it last longer, or maybe a preserving bin, something like that. Um, so that should work. All right, we're heading back to Poop City, and I have an idea for the lighting, and it is not it's not that. This is just way too bright, so I'm trying to avoid doing a lot of electrical lighting. And over here at the community center, uh, Drax has set up a little shop. And if you see, it's got a nice green glow. And what this shop is actually, it is a, uh, I guess you'd call it a trophy shop, but uh, I'm going to look in here real quick. And it is a an artifact of... Uh, hunter. Okay, there's a bunch of different artifacts that you get in the caves, but these things glow, and they don't actually need power or anything. Uh, this is just a trophy base, which I think we can make with obsidian. Um, can we pick it up? No, you can't pick it up, but once you make it, you know, so you can't mess up where you place it. Um, so we'll have to do that, but uh, let me turn up the gamma, because we actually need to read the signs here, because uh, he is selling these artifacts and hopefully he has some in stock hopefully we don't have to wait for it um, but welcome available for sale are some genuine artifact lamps these lamps glow with the brightest blah 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 they're bright blah 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 <laughs> anyway um, so let's see what the price is artifact of the hunter 200 silica pearls and trophy pedestal 100 silica pearls um, so I'm assuming oh he's already he has a bunch in here um, so we could buy I think if we bought three of them, we could put one in each eye and one in the nose, and we, and you know, maybe we, we don't have to put it up on display, like right in front of everything, so you see it, um, but make it so that it's glowing light inside the skull so we can see it. Um, what I'm going to do right now is check how many silica pearls we have. Uh, they were, what were they, 200 each? So one, two, three. I could buy three. And then I'd have 63 silica pearls left. Um, so why don't we go do that? And we'll have to make... Uh, I'm going to make a trophy pedestal. Um, but it is still dark. The moon is coming up. Let me turn the gamma back. To, oh my gosh, that is so... Yeah. But I wanted to see how these things glow at night without any gamma. So you can see, obviously, electrical lighting is very bright. But that is a nice green glow. I think it would look super spooky and awesome inside the skull. Um, so let's let's go ahead and let's buy three. I'm going to turn the gamma back up just so I make sure I 
I put the payment in the right place. So what are we supposed to do? Um, we... Okay, there's a note. Uh, there's a note. Oh, Zuljin paid for five. I guess we're supposed to write a note? So... Is that, is that how we do it? Um, do I put the payment in there? Where do I... Is there payment in here? Yeah, okay. I guess we put the money in here. Or silica pearls. So we're going to buy three. So one, two... Whoops! I gave him a grenade. Ha <laughs> ha! Blow up his shop. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our three artifacts. Are they all the same? I assume yes. One, two... Do I get two? No. One, two... Oh, I can't hold them? What is going on? Only one of these may be carried at a time? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What's going on? Is the sun... Alright, so let's see if we can fit one there and grab another one. And we'll take one back um, to the skull. Is that right? Okay, good. Alright, hopefully my bird can carry me because I have an artifact also. Okay, so we have two. Um, what I can do is have a bird follow me <laughs> back to... Uh... Let's see, should we um, Should we have... What's some, what should we call it? Lumpy? Should we have Lumpy follow us? Uh, I can't get out. All right, Lumpy. It's all you, buddy. Did I sh Oh, why am I floating? Lumpy, why am I floating on you? I don't know why I'm floating on you, Lumpy. All right. So I think I can put the gamma back down, right? Okay, yes. So these things really do have an awesome glow. Oh, yeah, you're still following me, aren't you? Okay, so I need to put this artifact in your inventory so I can grab the third one. What are you doing, dude? Uh, all right, so the third artifact. Did I grab that? It doesn't look like I grabbed it. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, and then I need to write a note. So use item. Uh, monkey farm paid and received, paid for and received uh, three artifacts. You'll, you can see them. Lighting up my skull. Thanks. All right, so accept. I'm going to put that note in here, which I think is what we're supposed to do. Um, and there's payment. So there you go. And what are you doing, Lumpy? You're crazy. All right, so I want to make these things make the inside of the skull glow but I don't want them to be seen, you know, so I don't want to put uh, one of the artifacts like right here because, you know, that the big glowing green thing will be uh, right there in front of the eye and you'll be able to see it. I want the green glow inside, but I don't want to be able to see the stinking, get your beak out of my face. Um, but you know what? I'm thinking, I'm going to move this guy. I'm thinking that little spot right there next to the stairs or next to the ramp right here. Uh, maybe if we, let's see, where can we place this? Oh, it does fit like really nicely right there. Oh man, that, that could be perfect. Should we, I made a couple extra uh, trophy cases, so, or trophy stands, whatever these things are called. Um, because I wanted to maybe mess up once or twice <laughs> accidentally or change it. I wanted to see if I could change it, but let's, um, let's put the artifact. What do I have to do? Just drag it, drag it in here and then what? Drag it in there. Okay. So it's glowing. Oh, we can kind of see the top, but I think we're okay. Um, but yeah. Ooh, I don't know how much light that actually puts off. Like, I wonder, yeah, I, I have a feeling it's not going to light up this whole back thing, but I do see a green glow here. So if it lights up kind of like the whole eye area, it might look cool. And then down for the nose, I think right here, right in front of the ladder, I guess, would be probably the best place. Hopefully I can place it. Whoops. Yeah, I don't need a, I don't need a telescope right here. Um, hopefully I can place it right in front of the ladder and still use the ladder with, with the thing in front you know, the artifact in it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get it as far back as we can. Uh, is that right? Right there? 
All right, we'll put that one there. And you have that artifact. Okay, so we'll put this one right here. First we put it there and put it there. there. All right, and then we'll go up to the top and do the same thing over here. I have a feeling this might actually be really cool. I think it might work. So we're going to slap that down. And then Lumpy has our third artifact, I believe. Good thing I didn't forget. All right, so we're going to do that. Okay, so now it's the waiting game. Um, we are going to wait till sundown. And, oh, man, I hope I hope this glows really nicely. Um, you know, and if it... If it does glow, if it does make part of it glow and maybe not enough, like, you know, we can always add more down here. Like, we can put, we can buy two more and put them down here if, uh, if for some reason that will add an extra nice glow to it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, why don't we head over to the winter biome because it is not nearly dark. It is only noon, so we're going to be waiting a long time if, uh, if we're trying to wait till till night and uh it looks like i just found some right down there and there's some silica pearls which uh which i can pick up to to potentially buy some more artifacts or to just uh to replenish my supply <laughs> because i already uh, used my whole supply to buy the first three artifacts so um let's see if any oh yep, there's a rex right there all right, so I'll be back. I'm going to clear out the area real quick, and we're going to go down uh, to that lower le level and, uh, and check out everything. All right, so we're down here, and uh, we've got a couple different penguins. I think there are about three. And we have a wild kairuku, wild male, 48. He's just waddling along. Hey, why don't you look at the camera? Are you bashful? Yeah, a little bit. It's pretty cool looking. He's waddling around. And uh, let's see. We have a higher... Oh, wait. We have another male, uh, level 32. I thought we had a higher level one. Maybe... I think it was a female, but she must have gone swimming. And there's a baby one. I don't want to get too close. I saw a shark out in the water. Uh, oh yeah, mailed wild adolescent 68. So that's a higher, higher level one. Um, let's grab, let's grab some of this stuff. You know what I'm talking about? That's uh, that's like, this is the this is the good stuff right here. Am I gonna like slip off the edge? Okay, good. Yeah, I don't want to. I want to go out and be shark food. Um, oh, check you out. You're like stuck, aren't you? Maybe we can shoot you. Oh, I didn't bring my dart gun. That would have been so much better than than using these. But my guess is, like, this guy's going to go straight into the water. He's going to run away, right? Should I get my Quetzal and, and drag him over? I don't want to shoot you, buddy, but I want to tame you. Oh! Don't run, don't run! Oh, don't go in the water. I don't know how many, uh, how many things it takes to knock this guy out, but I just don't want him going swimming. It's okay. These are just... This is just jewelry I'm making for you. Trust me. Oh, there we go. Okay, hopefully he didn't die. Did he die? Did he die? He's dead. Oops. I've, I should have waited. Should have waited. Oh, but I apologize for that. I didn't mean to kill him. Um, we got 22 organic polymer. And that equals, I believe, it's one for one, like polymer. Like, you know, stuff that we use in the fabricator. I'm trying to get in my bird here. Wow, the wind is starting up. Um, so that's a bummer. Look at that shark out there. Aw, we killed him. That's so bummer. I should have brought my, uh, my dart gun because that would have maybe knocked him out better. Darn it. Should I go get it? All right, we have a level 96 over there, but it is way too... I don't know if... I think we might just want to bring him back home because this is just nutty. And I don't have my dart gun. Is this water or not? I can't really tell. I want to try to pick him up, but... Can I pick him up? Yep, I got him. Okay, well, I don't have my, my dart gun, so we're going to take this guy back home. 
because uh, I'm afraid if I shoot him with my crossbow again that we're just going to kill it because that level 68 uh, something that high enough you know that high of a level shouldn't shouldn't die that quickly from one extra dart um, or one extra you know arrow at least I don't know but these are you know these are very small creatures so uh, I think it'll be better if we shoot it with a uh, with a tranquilizer dart rather than uh, using a crossbow all right we're landing here and uh, I'm just gonna drop him there and let him walk around and I see some bad things over here so we're gonna go we're gonna go kill the dirty little carno oh that that was tough hey there little buddy <laughs> He's got a really cool design on his belly, and he has blue feet. That's really weird. Is that... Are you like an emperor penguin? Because you have blue feet or something? The emperor has blue shoes? I don't know. It sounds, sounds like a movie or something. I don't know. He looks pretty cool, though. And that's actually how I paint a lot of my animals. You know, like the Rex? Except it's opposite. It's, uh, it's white with the with the stripe on the eye, the other, the darker stripe on the eye. He's like the opposite of what I did with my Rex and my Carno and everything. Um, anyway, I've got the animals out of here, so they won't go crazy when I start shooting him, but uh, they're not hostile, so it, uh, it doesn't, you know, it wouldn't really matter if, if the frog and the monkey were in here. Um, but I do have my long neck rifle with, uh, with the darts. So we're gonna go ahead and tame this guy Aw, oh, he doesn't even know it's coming either. Aw, oh, he doesn't know it's coming. It's just, it's like right in the back of the head. Oh, he, he does look a little damaged. I wonder if there's a way to heal him. Are you going to pass out without dying, please? Pretty please? Pretty, pretty, please? Don't die. Are you, are you going to die? You're going to die, aren't you? All right. Um... I want to wait a little bit, like, I don't, poor guy, I feel so bad, he's so cute, cute little penguin dude, aww, don't be sad, okay, dart's gone, time for a new one, quit moving, aww, he's looking, he's looking beat up again, just pass out so you don't have to die, I don't want you to die. Are you, did he pass out against the wall? Oh man. Don't die! Please, please. Are you passed out? Yes, he's unconscious. Nice. Okay. So, I'm gonna put my gun away because I'm dangerous with this thing. Alright, and we'll put our darts back. And we're gonna go get some. I assume they eat meat. So we're gonna go get some primate. Oh yeah, look how look how damaged he is. He was like two thirds injured or dead or whatever. Um, so let's go grab some prime meat. The quick way to do this, or the right way to do this, would be to transfer it all really quickly. Is he hungry? Is he gonna eat? Uh oh, uh oh. Um, I'm gonna need more inventory. What what do I have here? Do I have any meat? Oh, I don't want to put regular meat in him, but. Just in case. Um, okay, so he is almost half tame. So actually, uh, just to be safe, I'm going to go try to grab one more piece of prime meat. But he might actually tame without us here. Um, depends on how quickly they eat and everything. That We've got some Bronos right here. So I'm going to go try to grab a couple pieces of prime right here. You weren't supposed to tame that fast. What the heck? Well, check him out. <laughs> he was really quick. He ate all that prime. I think he ate a couple of normal pieces because he didn't tame out at 100%. Uh, he must have been 95-ish uh, percent because he came out at 141. I think uh, he was supposed to be a couple levels higher than that. Change name. Waddles. All right, you are Waddles, my penguin, and I am happy to meet you. Hello. You have cool feet and a cool design and a cool beak, and you're super awesome, and you are level 141, and I don't know what we're actually going to do with you. We're probably going to leave you here for a while till we figure it out. Um, but let's check out your stats. Got a lot of torpor, I guess. Uh, movement speed's really fast, so that must be for swimming. You must be a fast swimmer, because I know you're not a fast walker. You kind of waddle, you know? Hence your name. 
melee's wow, melee's pretty good for a little guy. Um, I guess he's got a strong beak. Uh, weight's pretty low. Food, he's got a lot of food. Um, stamina looks good. Health, health is you know whatever. But yeah, we'll figure out what to do with you. And um, I know well we can we can get polymer from you or organic polymer, but we don't want to kill you because you're our buddy. And I guess if you uh, if you kind of tenderize him up with with a club, which <laughs> you get more polymer out of him when you kill him or something, but you know that's ridiculous. Um, I definitely not going to be making a club anytime soon. We're not going to be clubbing you guys. I I like you little penguins. You guys are cool, and uh, and I don't want to club you in the head. I'll shoot you in the head with darts. Ah, oh, what the heck? I think we've got a problem. What? I can't see... I can't see anything. Yeah, so if you look, like, inside the block here... Let's see. If you look inside underneath there... Everything's glowing back there. You know what? I'm going to use one of our... All right, we've got the thing back, so let's... We can't pick it up. I'm going to demolish that. Oh, did I just break... What did I break? Holy moly. What? Did that just break something? That just freaked me out. I hope that's just obsidian. All right, so we... <laughs> wow. Okay. So we're going to move this one a little bit further back. Uh, oh, wow. And we can't place it there anymore now? That is super weird. We can't place it there anymore. We can place it there. This is super weird. Um, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't go there, but K mode. Okay. So I didn't want to block too much of the walkway, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking the artifact, oh, I put it crooked too. Well, I guess I'm going to create another one and redo this, even if it works. Uh, but see, see all the glowing, oh, it is still glowing back there. Well, let's check out, let's check this out and compare the two. We'll, we'll compare the right eye and the left eye. So, um, and don't worry, I'll turn the gamma down to see if it works better, but, um, Let's turn it down to three first. Uh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. So, it's just too dark. Uh, these don't put enough glowing in. So the other thing I can do, which I didn't want to do, is use these fire pits because they don't work very well. The other option that we might have is the new angler fish. Apparently they have some kind of oil that they drop or something that, uh, let's see, Gamma 3 maybe? Yeah. They have some oil that they drop that's supposed to create longer burning something or another. And I'm thinking that they might be using that, or they might be introducing that into the game so that we can use it in uh, some kind of lighting, like... Uh, like lantern oil or something like that. So this is kind of looking okay like this. But it's hard to tell, really. It's just hard to tell. All right. Well, unfortunately, um, we're still going to have to work on the lighting situation in here. And I don't think adding additional lanterns or, uh, sorry, artifacts. I don't think adding additional artifacts is really going to help the situation. Um, but look, does this create more glow? Yeah, because see how this is not even glowing? But I guess, I guess all of this is glowing the same. So... It's just too close to that background thing. Everything else is pretty much glowing the same, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so we, we wasted that trophy base for no reason, and we're going to have to move it back because obviously it's blocking too much of the walkway. But yeah, that is it for today anyway, so I hope you guys are liking it. I'm really happy with how the skull's turning out, and I can't wait to get more done in the interior because we finally started putting in machinery and our storage and our, you know, our vaults and all that stuff. Um, so things are looking good. I hope you guys like it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And uh, thumb up the video if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it. And we'll see you all later.